What's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? It's April 15th, which means it's really close to tax day. If you haven't done it already, you should probably get that done. Well, anyways, I'm your boy, Droid, bringing you the weekly roundup for me, Discord. Your source for all the chaos on the internet. We think you should know. Glad to be back. Let's jump right into it. So this week in media news, Paramount released some of his first images of the upcoming ScarJo as Makoto in the Ghost in the Shell films. Which basically means all that petitioning to get ScarJo removed or Scarlett Johansson removed from the film, all those petitioning for a Japanese class. Too late now, too bad, so sad. Movie is a go. Sadly, nothing else we can do about it. Also, we got confirmation that the next Resident Evil is actually going to be the final Resident Evil. So for those of you who are actually fan that series, sadly it's coming to an end. And if you're like me, you're surprised the series has lasted this long. Either way, spoiler alert, the film is going to be the end of zombies one way or another. So either they're going to be wiped out, turned back into humans, or turned into dust. I'm curious to see what they're going to do after all these films. And in other media news, The Rock finally confirmed that he is indeed going to play Black Adams in an upcoming DC film. Now this is exciting news for me because Black Adams is definitely a badass in the DC universe, not just for Captain Marvel or AKA Shazam, but for the DC universe as a whole, which means they might be bringing on more people in the film to really show how badass Black Adams can be. But don't get too excited, the film isn't scheduled to release until 2019. That is a tentative date, which means it could be pulled forward. It also means it can be pushed back. Either way, I'm excited to see what Black Adams is going to do. And I know the news, Mad TV, a show that lasted 14 seasons, won many awards and launched the careers of several comedians, including Bobby Lee, Aries Spears, Ken Peele, Nicole Sullivan, the list goes on, is returning to prime time, coming back to the CW. Now, I'm truly excited for this because my favorite segment of all the segments this show had was Spy vs. Spy. I don't care what anyone says, that 30 second clips of those spies was always my favorite part. I remember the video game Spy vs. Spy. I'm hoping to see that back. But I'm also glad to hear that there's another primetime sketch comedy show coming back to TV because to me Saturday Night Live just isn't cutting it the way Mad TV used to. And there are several of the original cast members returning, including Aries Spears, Nicole Sullivan, Bobby Lee, Phil Lamar, Artie Lang, Keegan Michael Key, Randall Johnson, Will Sasso, many more. It's going to be released this May on the CW, which is exciting news seeing it's going to take an old school show with a new school twist. Very similar to what they did with Whose Line Is It Anyway. Now in other media comic news, Netflix has confirmed that The Defenders will be filming later this year. Now The Defenders typically is a rotating cast of heroes, but it's going to primarily focus on the four that were released to Netflix. That means Daredevil, Luke Cage, Iron Fist, and Jessica Jones. No exact date on when the film is going to be released or how it will be released. I'm assuming it's going to be straight to Netflix right after the Iron Fist airs, so we can probably expect to see it sometime around September of next year. If we're lucky, either way, I'm excited to see what they do. Well, transitioning from that, if you haven't heard this sound from a while, it's time for Animaniacs. Well, good news. Animaniacs is now on Netflix, but even better news, the Animaniacs are going on tour. As weird as that sounds. The voice actors that play Yakko, Wacko, and Dot will be going on tour with an orchestra this year. Probably singing some of our favorite songs for the show and probably acting out some of our best sketches. So that's really exciting news right there. There's no tour date scheduled yet, but we'll bring you that as soon as we find out ourselves because we want to be on the front row. Well, that's it for this week. For everything you heard here and more, be sure to check out MediaDiscord.com. There you can check game reviews, playthroughs, etc etc you can also check out taylor's review of the game letters quest grim's journey for the xbox one well that's all i got for you this is dre signing off for me discord catch you next week peace <laughs>